So the pandemic brought financial struggles to a lot of families like they've never gone through before. Recently, an organization helping people in their time of need called our newsroom telling us the family of former WWL reporter and anchor Jim Metcalf had fallen on some very difficult times. I'm Rick Ferris visited the Metcalf family to see what they're going through. Good evening and welcome to a Sunday Journal. Please to begin. A familiar greeting to Channel 4 viewers of the 70s. Jim Metcalf was an artist who painted with words. To this day, the top press club TV journalism award bears his name. Already the stone and steel of your towers rise above the banks of your river and hold back the sunlight from the streets below. And he covered stories that changed our lives forever. A newsman Jim Metcalf and cameraman John Embry left for the Gulf Coast hours before the hurricane howled into being. Tonight, they're still there, they're safe, but they are marooned. It will be weeks, possibly months, before the complete toll in lives and property of this storm is known. This is Jim Metcalf in Biloxi. Before his death from cancer in 1977, he could have never imagined this report where his grown children and wife, Mary Ann, were homeless. And my mother has been there for 45 years, and it's not very much fun being thrown out of your house. When we left, my mom's TV was still on in her room. Several months ago, two of his children, Mark and Claire in their 60s, Claire's partner, and their 96-year-old mother, incapacitated from a stroke, lost the family home. Mark, who has Parkinson's, and Claire and her partner had moved in the family home to care for their mom. It was paid for, but a company was able to buy it in a tax sale. Claire says she was overwhelmed and confused over the back taxes they owed. After a long legal and costly process, she asked the company could they buy it back. I said, please tell me what to do, and I would make an offer. And she say, you know, I will. I'll leave you alone. That did not work out. They lost most of the furniture, too. The four of them have been living in a hotel room. They managed to save boxes of the memorabilia from their father's TV and radio career in Texas. The letter from LBJ and Lady Bird wishing him well when he left that station they owned and headed to WWL. And pictures and promotional items from the old Channel 4 days on set with Hap Glaudy and Don Westbrook. Three quarter inch tape cassettes of his Sunday journal show, the awards, pictures of his World War II service where he was a gunner they called Buzzy. He was a wonderful man, and he saw a lot of tragedy. He saw World War II. He was in five theaters in World War II. He stormed the beach of Normandy. He came back damaged to an extent, and it always stayed in his heart. I've had enough of noise to last a thousand lifetimes. They think that's where his soulful writing came from. He wanted people to look past complaining about what goes wrong in life and look at the beauty around them. He said it was his job to show them that beauty. Now the Metcalfs were about to see the beauty around them through the people at St. Vincent de Paul. He said, let me take some of this off of you. Those words were unbelievable. He gave so much to the city, and now this is the time for the city to give back to his family. St. Vincent de Paul is a Catholic organization more than 100 years old. They help people of any religion with assistance for utilities, rent, medical bills, food pantries, free GED classes, mentoring, and job searches. The severity of the cases have been worse this year because of the pandemic and the hurricane. They worked with a hotel to donate the room for the Medcalfs. They've been collecting household goods to replace for them. And then this week, finally, some good news. St. Vincent de Paul found a rental for the Metcalfs. They'll continue to assist and help them to budget their social security so they can be on their own. That's wonderful. You will take your road and you will walk away and look ahead and think ahead. And I'll be here at the crossroad 
until you disappear over the horizon. Jim Metcalf wrote a story about Crossroads. It's about a child coming of age and leaving the nest, and a parent's promise to always be there as a safety net to catch him when he falls. Right now, St. Vincent de Paul is a safety net for nearly 600 local families, and they're fulfilling the promise Jim had for his. I have seen you, seen your face move gently in the slow and certain cadence of the breath of sleep. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. A beautiful, beautiful story by our Meg Farris, St. Vincent de Paul. They work through 35 different churches in the greater New Orleans area. And because of the pandemic, some regular donors were unable to contribute in the past year. So if you want to donate or you know someone who needs help, just head over to our website, wwltv.com.